I'll up on Burundi and one on South Sudan. Uh, on Burundi, there's been a, a pretty high-profile assassination of a general, General Karuruza, uh, who actually was spoken out about what he called killings and disappearances in Mugamba that I'd asked you about last week. One, are you, is the UN aware of the killing of this general and his family as they delivered their, their child to school? And two, do you have any update on Mugamba? You'd, your office had emailed me that there were three detentions and I guess two deaths. People are saying that the number is a lot higher. Have you received any updated information no, on that? No updates on uh, Mugamba, on General Kar uh, Karazua. Uh, we are very much uh, aware and I expect a statement uh, to be issued uh, shortly, if not during the this briefing. And on South Sudan, I just wanted to ask you, in terms of the, the Rick Machar coming back, I wanted to ask you, uh, and, and you again, you may say you can't confirm this, so there's a UN email that was sent out to all UN staff in South, in South Sudan, I can tell you it's 057 SB 2204 2016, and it says, this is why I'm asking you about it, it says that at, for Ms. Rick Machar's arrival, that IDPs in the, in, the, in the protection of civilian camps will not be allowed to leave, that, that POC 1 and 3 remain closed. So I wanted to ask you, how is it appropriate for the UN to essentially lock in camps, uh, civilians, some of whom are supporters of Rick Machar, when he returns in what's described as a Look, peace I, I move think to you're, the capital? Again, uh, it would be helpful if you asked whoever's sending you these emails to copy me on it, so at least we, we you fight. You get copied on get on the same uh, on the same page. Uh, I, I will assume, which I don't like to do, that you're getting, you know, security updates. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it is the role of the UN to ensure uh, that there is uh, no violence and there's no trouble for the return of, of Mr. Mashar. And they will take uh, and give advice and take the steps uh, that are necessary. Can people be locked into the POC camp I think, if they're non-violent supporters th of Rick Mashar? I, I think the, the, the issue is that we're dealing with very volatile uh, situation. Uh, and we try to take the measures we can to avoid any sort of civilian uh, deaths or, or injuries. Mm -hmm.